What is up guys, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. It's been a while since I haven't uploaded any videos because I've been pretty busy with my internship life. But I'll try my best to keep in touch with you. So Mikasa Ackerman is one of my favorite characters in Attack on Titan. And I can see that she is going a huge character development alongside with other characters as well like John and Armin and also Ellen. I think people no longer know Ellen now. Ellen, you know what you did to me. Do Aside from being in Ellen and his Mikasa relationship, I really hope so. So in this video, we are going to make an animated manga illustration. And I can see that this technique is quite advanced, so bear with me. And this video is inspired by Anthony Possebon uh, in his video about animating hair. And he has this awesome plugin called the AFP hair plugin. And I'll leave the link in the description below. So in order to animate in manga illustration, we need Adobe Photoshop for the working file. And of course the After Effects for the animation process. And I really recommend for you guys to have a tablet for you. Uh, recently, I used the tablet. This one is company sponsored. But well, yeah, I just been jump. So the first thing that you want to do is to find a piece of art. Since I'm not really a good artist, so I find uh, some good aesthetic illustration here in Pinterest. So one important note here that um, different illustration have their own art style and the more realistic the illustration is the harder for you to redraw so i want to find an illustration that is manga like so that um, i don't need to use a lot of colors to uh, retouch it so now i'm bringing this into photoshop so this illustration here is um, a little bit cut out from the hand and the hips so um, first thing that i do is to redraw the bottom and the hands here um, this is optional but I highly recommend uh, doing this because when animating an illustration um, the sometimes uh, the illustration can get out of bound so then this step is really much easier if you guys use the tablet or if you guys use a mouse and yeah it really uh, it's going to be a hard time so for this next step we're going to use the selection tool so uh, we're going to select this illustration here uh, using the selection tool and then using the refine brush to refine the hairs and then once you select all of them um, and then make the background green so that you can see all the spots that is missing and um, you can erase that so that um, you cover the whole illustration then when and then you're gonna repaint everything until it covers the whole illustration I'm really sorry if my photoshop looks like this because I haven't used the photoshop in years so um, my photoshop is kind of getting crazy yeah I believe this is the most time consuming part so I'm gonna fast forward this part and enjoy the show Okay, so now the illustration is all done. What I did here is I redraw each body part into separate layers. So, let's say if you want to animate hand, you must redraw everything from scratch. Since the illustration is in one layer, so I need to make a separate layer for hair and face so that it doesn't look cut out or out of bound. So here I just repaint the face according to the adjacent skin tones 
it's okay if it looks messy or imperfect because uh, we because we're gonna blur it out later here i repaint the face and remove the hairs make it a separate layer like that And then one quick tip to hide it is by using the noise effect and by click filter and add noise so this way you can hide the paint layers which is really useful and i just set it um, somewhere around 5.9.6 okay so i think this is um, pretty nice it's okay if it doesn't look perfect because it will cover up by hair so it will look promising Okay now so we finished the face and let's rename everything so that uh, it is in order. Then to the next one I'm gonna cut out the hair, make it as a separate layer. And then I'm gonna erase everything on the edges. This is, so now we have the hair layer so uh, I'm gonna make it a separate layer for different parts okay so now it's nice and clean then i'm gonna apply for the next hair strands So now for the eyes, I make it a two layers for which is the open eyes and the blink eyes. Woo. Okay, so now it's done. So after making a separate layer, it should look like this, starting from the face, blank face here, and I'm gonna start off with the with the eyes, the hairs, and multiple strands of hair, okay, the scarf, the left hand, the body, the gear, and the right hand. So now that is complete and rename all the layers. So let's import it into After Effects. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. Okay, one cool thing that I want to show you that um, the important features of Adobe software. So, let's say if you made a mistake and let's say if I erase this and save that, go to After Effects and well, you guess what you know. It is deleted. Um, I find this thing is cool because um, it has the ability to sync between uh, two programs. So uh, let's say if you made a mistake here, you can always uh, go back to Photoshop and retouch whatever you want. And the same thing goes to parent and link. Uh, here I parent uh, everything according to uh, the anatomy of a body part. Let's say uh, for the hair, I parent it to head, and the head I parent it to the body, and I uh, place the body as the main part. And same goes to the hands and also other other body parts as well. Okay, for the next step, you're gonna pay close attention to this because uh, what you're gonna see is really really cool. So you're gonna select the hair layer, double click the hair layer. And I'm gonna go to this composition layer and what I'm gonna do is to apply a puppet paint tool here then go to file script run the script file and and choose AFP hair rig plugin um, this plugin is prepared by Anthony Possible 
which I leave in the description below so once you apply it and voila you can see that the hair is animated with just a simple plugin you can animate hair in a matter of minutes so uh, you can see the effect controls here there are so many uh, tweaks that you can do but I'm not really go into detail of the plugin you can check out uh, his video on the explanation of the hair plugin so you can uh, for me I just change the amplitude amplitude is how much you want the hair to be uh, moving so um, just make it subtle let's make it two and the frequency how much hair that uh, it is moving per minute so I'm just gonna remain that okay and I'm gonna apply the same thing for the other hair as well so if you want to note here that uh, you're gonna uh, pin from the tip until the bottom of the hair otherwise it will not work exactly that you intended so go to file go to script and run script file then choose AIP hair rig plugin and then I'm gonna rename this layer to hair for and tada I'm not gonna tweak uh, so much on this because it is already good as it is and I'm gonna apply the same thing for other hair as well so for this hair uh, will be this one for the tip till this one is quite curvy so I'm gonna apply um, 5 puppy pin tool and usually uh, uh, you can apply the hair from 5 to 6 puppet pin tool but um, the less is better so there you go oops so you can see that the hair uh, is revealing the head at the at the back of the layer so just make it uh, not so let's go to the photoshop and gonna repaint that so and same thing I'm gonna apply for all other hair layers There's also a shortcut for you to run a script file, which is Control Alternate Shift D. This one I make the hair a little bit slower than usual. Okay, cool. So you can uh, play around with the plugin all you want, but uh, I'm not really going into detail. So you can check out uh, his video. If you if you want to know more look you can go as crazy as this one yeah yeah it's crazy right okay now on to the eyes I find eyes is the most intimidating part because uh, the only way to do this is using the puppet pin tool and when I use the puppet pin tool on the eyes it will look morphing uh, kind of weird looking way like this and I, I really don't want that I try for hours uh, fixing the eye to make it look good but I don't think this is the efficient way to do this and then after hours of experimenting I find an efficient way to do this by separating the eyebrows and the eyeballs layer so and the first I animate the eyebrows and after that i morph the eyeballs using the puppet pin tool i think this way is a lot more natural compared to what i did in the first one yeah after experimenting uh, quite a while i i think this is one of the best 
that takes to animating the eye yeah it's really it's really time consuming on animating this eye it took me a whole two hours to animate this thing and to make it look natural as possible but I glad that it worked naturally as I intended okay so now the overall animation of the head is done which is the hardest part and now I'm gonna move on to the body part which is the hands and the scarf and other body parts as well I think this one is uh, much e easier and self-explanatory so I'm gonna skip this part quite fast for this part I'm just using the puppet pin tool to uh, morph the body shape and to make it look as natural as possible until I got uh, my ideal movement And that is how you animate a manga illustration using Photoshop and After Effects. And I spent hours of uh, making this work because I think this is the most hardest part in my animating years. But I find this is the most aesthetic and beautiful piece that I have ever made. So I quite proud of it. And I leave the working file in the description below so you can cut so you guys can check it out. And that is it guys for today's video.